Hello, welcome back. Now in this video, we are gonna see modifiers. So modifiers are nothing but it is a kind of effect which we can apply to the 3D models. So I will show you. Uh, first, we'll create an object. Uh, so I will press Shift A so I can create like Taurus. So click on this. So now, if you want to apply the modifiers, we have to go to these settings here. Here you can see there is an option like modifier properties. So you have to click on this. And there are some modifiers here. In this lesson, I'm going to explain some of the modifiers. So let's say first we'll start with an array. So in order to apply the modifiers, we need to select the object and we need to go to the add modifiers. And there is an option called array. Array is nothing but it will create the number of duplicates uh, for the from the original object here. So now whenever we apply the array, so here you will get in properties of that modifiers. And here you can see defaultly the count is two. And now if you want to increase, you can increase the number of count here. And also suppose if you want to maintain the distance between this thing uh, here, you can use this factor X, Y, Z. Uh, so for example, if I use this X, so see, now it is maintaining the equal distance between all the number of copies. So if I decrease, now see here. So in this way, we can create some chain kind of model. Uh, so literally I will explain how to do that. So this is an array, so here, just you can increase, you can go up to like 30 or 40, whatever. There is no limit. And also just I will increase the distance, see? And what are the advantages of this thing is, suppose if you make any changes in this original model, then we can, so the changes will be applied to all the remaining copies. Uh, so for example, if I extrude any phase or delete, so that will be applied to all the copies. So I will show you that. Uh, now we will go to the edit mode. So I will select the object and I will go to the edit mode. Uh, so let's say I will extrude some of the faces. Uh, for example, I will go to the face mode and I can select this. And now we can extrude. So if I extrude, see now the changes will be applied to all the copies here. And suppose if you delete the faces, if you select this and if you delete the faces and now you have to select the face, now see all the faces has been deleted. And also these changes will apply only when you're in the edit mode. Uh, in case, suppose if you select this, now see it has been considered as a single object, uh, even though if you rotate, so it will rotate, but it will not rotate individually. In case, if you want to rotate it individually, we can go to the edit mode. Let's say we can select all the faces for example, and we can like rotate. See, now it has been applied the changes to all the objects here. So what the thing is, if you are in the object mode and if you are trying to rotate, it will not rotate individually. It will rotate like whole like single object here. And now suppose if you want to apply this uh, modifier, we can go to this option here. So here you can select, there is an option called apply because without Clicking on this apply still, it will be like attached to this uh, object here. So what the thing is, whenever you want to make a change for any single object, you cannot do because even though if you go to the edit mode, see now we cannot select this object because we can select only the original thing. So what the thing is, if I want to make any changes for this object or this one, we cannot do until unless we apply this. So just we need to select this and here we can select and apply. Now this is considered as a single object. Now if you go to the edit mode, we can select the faces. If you want to delete, you can delete. Or if you want to extrude, you can extrude. So by using this, we can create uh, different uh, models like staircase, for example. See, I will show you that. Uh, so I will delete this. Let's say we'll create a cube here. So I can press Shift A, Mesh, and I can create the cube here. So I will scale. Uh, in the Z axis and also in like X axis. So now uh, we will apply this array modifier. Uh, so we can select this object and we can go to the modifier and just array. And now here you can increase and decrease the X. And also now first we'll increase the number of copies. Let's say I will increase to 10 or something. We can use now uh, like Z axis to see now if I increase this Z axis, see now it has been created the offset towards the Z axis. So we can uh, increase Y, see if you want to make it cross or something, but 
in this case, just we will do in uh, X and Z axis. So just we can use this. So if you want to maintain the gap, you can maintain the gap or if you want to overlap, you can overlap this in this way. And now you can increase the number of copies. So, so we can create uh, this kind of uh, models by using this array modifier. And now suppose if you want to make any changes, let's say if I go to the edit mode and now if you select this and you can like, let's say we can use the insert option. So see, and see now here when we use this insert option, uh, actually this is not scaling equally. Means like see here, the width of these faces are more when compared to this top and bottom here. So what a thing is, as we have scaled this object, now if you press N, here you can see uh, actually when you're doing that kind of like insert or something, here the scale has to be like one, one, one. Then only we can uh, apply the proper insert. So what means like we can reset these values. So we can press, so we can press control A. And here you can select this option called scale. Now you see if I go to N, now the values has been reset to one, one, one. What the thing is before doing this kind of, uh, of things, we need to reset the scale value so that we will get the proper model. So for example, see now, so if I select, if I go to the edit mode and I will select the face and if I use the insert option, see now, now the face is uh, scaling equally. And now we can extrude, like we can select this extrude and see now it has been extrude. So now this is applying to all the things. And suppose in case, if you want to extrude only the first phase, like you can extrude and just you can do this. So, so now it has been applied to all the things. In case, if you want to make any changes for any single uh, stairs or something, we need to apply this modifier. So just we can go this and apply. And now whatever the changes you want to make, you can select the face, you can like extrude or something. So in this way, we can use the array modifier. So you can do a lot of stuff. Uh, so just you need to explore yourself. Now we'll go to the next modifier. So I'll delete this. So next we'll see the bevel modifier. Uh, so let's say I will create a cube here. So shift A, you can select this cube and I can scale. And now what the thing is I want to apply the soft corners to this uh, object here means like as I shown in the earlier videos we can select the edges and we can use the bevel option but suppose if you want to apply the bevel for the entire model we can apply the modifier actually so we can select this and we can go to the modifier and there is an option like be bevel so if you select this now see it has been applied this bevel for all the corners of this cube here and here there are some settings uh, you can increase an amount how much you want to bevel and if you want to increase the number of segments so if you increase the segments it will make more rounder and if you want to make it flat you can just uh, put it to like one and just we can increase this so now we got uh, like round corners for this thing so not only for cube we can apply this thing for uh, all the remaining objects too and also here you can see there are options like vertex. So see now this bevel is in is applying for only the vertex. So if you increase the amount, you can see, see now. So most of the time we will apply the bevel for the edges. So we'll see another modifier. Just let's delete this. And next uh, we can use the subdivision modifier. So if you want to make the model very smooth, then we can add a subdivision. So for example, I will take an uh, mesh here. So shift A, let's say we'll take an monkey model. So see now, now see this model having a low poly means like uh, it is not that much smooth. So, so in case, suppose if you want to make it smooth, we need to add in subdivisions. So in order to do that, we can go to the modifiers and we can see there is an option called subdivision surface. So if you select this, now say the model has become a little bit smooth and also if you want to make more smooth in the properties you can use this option like increase the subdivisions and see now and if you go on increasing it will increase the smooth of this model here and make sure don't increase the value to higher uh, what the thing is it will the performance of this scene will depends on the number of subdivisions if you go on increase like seven or ten or something the system performance will decrease and the scene will run a little bit slower 
So be careful when you are increasing this number of subdivisions here. And also here there is an option like render. Uh, what the thing is actually, if you are putting the value to one, and if you put the value to three or four, what the thing is the final output will be shown with the subdivisions of number four. Means like in this. So what the thing is while working, uh, while modeling, suppose if you don't want to make it slow or if you want to run the scene smoother, in the viewport, we can put it to one, but the final output, if you want to put it to four, then finally it will render with the value of four. So for this also, so let's say I will increase up to like three or something, and we can just, if you want to apply, you can select this and we can click on apply. And now the model is smooth, but still you can see there is, uh, see that subdivisions here. Uh, so what the thing is actually, we need to apply one option like right click. There is an option called shade smooth. So we need to select this object. And if you click on this shade smooth, it will show the smooth model here. It's just a view means like uh, it's not actually increasing the number of subdivisions when we use this shade option. Just only uh, you can see the final output of this model, how it is going to be seen. And next we will uh, see the booleans. Uh, so it is one of the important uh, things uh, when we want to make a hole, so if you want to do any kind of different models, so we can use the booleans. So for example, I will take an cube. So shift A, like and select the cube here and just I will scale it and scale in the Z axis or something just in this way. Yeah, let's I will create the uh, cylinder here. So I will just create the cylinder. So shift A and mesh. I can use this cylinder. And I need to scale in the Z axis. So Z axis. And if you want to scale it more, you can scale it. And now what the thing is, if you want to make a hole for this cube by using this cylinder, make sure you need to overlap this up to the end. Means like it has to come outside here. So now what the thing is like, suppose I want to make the hole for this cube by using this cylinder. What we need to do is we need to select the cube for which we are going to make the hole. And now we need to go to the add modifier. And just there is an option called Boolean. So you have to select this Boolean. And here in Boolean, we have like three options like intersect, union, difference. First, I will show the difference. So if you want to make a hole, then we need to use the difference option. And also see now we need to select the object with which you are going to make the hole. Uh, either you can select here the cylinder or else you can select this eyedropper and you can pick that option. So in this scene, we are using only the cube and cylinder. That's why it's showing only the cylinder here. Suppose if you have a lot of objects and if you if you're not able to find the list, then we can use this eyedropper. So we can select this eyedropper and just we need to pick on this. So now it has been converted to whole. Uh, for example, see, I will select this for timing. I will hide this. So uh, we can hide the objects in uh, two ways. Like either you can select this object and you can press H so that we can hide the object or else we need to go to outliner and we can use this I option. So see now I will hide this and now it has been created a hole by using that cylinder. And now suppose if you uh, enable this and if you like rotate, let's say if you rotate this. And now if you hide this, see now it has been applied with a different angle. The whole depends on the angle in which you have placed. Now what the thing is, if you delete this actually, now the Boolean will not apply. So what the thing is, we need to first apply this, then only we can delete this thing. So as I said, like if you want to apply, we need to go to this option and click on this apply. Now, if you delete this cylinder, then still you can see the hole in this cube here. So we will see the other option like. So select this and now we will see the union. Uh, so union is nothing but see, I will use another uh, object. Uh, for example, like if I select, if I create any spear or something so i can use a spear i can scale i can move this and now what the thing is if you select this and if you use the union and you can pick the object so what the thing is this both has been converted into single object uh, so see now let's say if i hide this see 
now both the objects has been converted into single so if you want to convert both the objects into single object then we can use a union and there is an another option like intersection so if you use the intersection what the thing is wherever the objects are overlapping it will show only third part and the remaining everything will be deleted uh, so for example you can see just i will uh, enable this and just i will use the difference option or something see now what the thing is now these two objects are overlapping at some point so when i use this intersect it will show only that point actually we need to uh, hide this thing so you can see the final thing so in this way we can use the boolean so booleans are very useful if you want to create any windows doors uh, hold the walls and we can use it for many other situations so most of the time we will use the difference so difference is nothing but see now it has been deleted the part where it has been overlapped and if you want to apply this then we need to select this and just click on apply now see and if you go to the edit mode now it has been created some of the faces and we can like select this and just if you want to extrude we can extrude this so these are the modifiers here uh, so you can go and explore this modifiers and i will cover some of the modifiers in the later on courses which i'm going to start soon so that's it for this video and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you